In this video, we'll walk through how to interpret the results of the Knockout Lab by Mini-PCR Bio. The Knockout Lab makes performing a CRISPR-Cas gene-targeting experiment in your classroom straightforward to carry out and evaluate. It has a colored phenotypic readout that allows you to easily see if your experiment worked. This video will go over how that readout, called blue-white screening, works and how to use it to evaluate if your experiment was successful. The E. coli you are using in this lab contain the LAXZ gene on small circular DNA molecules called plasmids. When this E. coli is plated on a specific media, the product of the LAXZ gene converts a molecule in that media into a blue pigment. The buildup of that pigment causes the entire bacterial colony to turn blue. So if you just plated the bacteria without performing an experiment, you would see blue colonies on your plate. But in this lab, you set up two transformations, your control condition and your experimental condition. In each, you transformed the E. coli containing the LAXZ plasmid with a second plasmid. In your control condition, the plasmid P control contains a gene that encodes the Cas9 protein and instructions for a random guide RNA. This random guide RNA is not expected to be complementary to any DNA present in the E. coli. This means that it should have no effect on the bacteria. When plated, they should still create blue colonies. In your experimental condition, the plasmid PKO contains both the gene that encodes the Cas9 protein and instructions for a guide RNA that is complementary to LAC-Z. When the Cas9 protein and the guide RNA come together, they will find and cut the LAC-Z gene. This disables or knocks out the LAC-Z gene, so the bacteria can no longer produce the blue product. When plated, these bacteria will create white colonies. This easy visual output will tell you if your knockout experiment worked or not. In the control condition, the colonies will be blue. This indicates that the LAC-Z gene is functional. In the experimental condition, the absence of color tells you that the LAC-Z gene is not functional. This means that the Cas9 protein cut the LAC-Z gene and you successfully knocked it out. To learn more about our CRISPR-Cas9 Knockout Lab, including downloading teacher and student guides, classroom presentation slides, and additional background information, you can visit minipcr.com.